Sometimes, instead of inventing something from scratch, it can be faster to achieve results by combining existing inventions. This weapon is the embodiment of that philosophy. By merging revolver technology with hand grenade technology, a highly impactful weapon of war was made. It is capable of shooting 40mm MV-type grenades up to 875 yards and can lay down a high volume of fire as all six rounds in its cylinder can be fired in three seconds. The MGL might not have been the pioneer in this category, but it undoubtedly established the viability of the concept and emerged as the first commercially successful weapon of this type. After all, everyone needs a revolver that can shoot 40mm grenade rounds. At its core, the M32 is a shoulder-fired 40mm grenade launcher. It features a six-round spring-driven revolving cylinder compatible with most 40 by 46 mm grenades. This unique mechanism allows for rapid, successive firing, with the cylinder automatically rotating as it discharges. The M32's design prioritizes durability and functionality. It boasts a stainless steel barrel with progressive rifling, ensuring accuracy and reliability. The weapon's length varies with the stock's position, measuring 28 inches when collapsed and 32 inches when extended. The barrel itself is 12 inches long. There are also short barrel versions for special forces. It is relatively heavy, tipping the scales at 13.01 pounds when empty and reaching 18.5 pounds when fully loaded, which surpasses the weight of a typical light machine gun. In terms of performance, the M32 is impressive. It can fire six rounds in just three seconds with a muzzle velocity of 250 feet per second and it has an effective range of 400 yards for low velocity and 875 yards for medium velocity rounds. The reloading process of the MGL necessitates a hands-on approach involving the manual rotation of the cylinder once it's been opened and reloaded with grenades before securing it back into firing position. This manual winding is essential to prepare the weapon for subsequent firing, underscoring the need for rapid reloading skills after discharging the initial six rounds. Also, since there is no cartridge extractor system, any spent casings or unfired rounds must be removed by hand, one at a time. The MGL demonstrates impressive accuracy, effectively hitting pinpoint targets at a range of 136 yards with low velocity rounds, effectively hitting pinpoint targets at a range of up to 136 yards with low velocity rounds, and extending to 273 yards when using medium velocity ammunition. The 40 by 46 mm grenades used in the M32 are specially designed for safety and effectiveness. Unlike traditional grenades, which are armed by removing a safety pin, these grenades are designed to arm themselves only after being fired from the launcher. This means that if a grenade were to fall from one's hand or the launcher, it would not detonate upon impact. This safety feature significantly reduces the risk of accidental injury or damage during handling and loading. Moreover, the ammunition of the M32 is diversified to cater to different tactical needs. For instance, there are high explosive rounds for destroying enemy equipment, smoke rounds for creating visual cover, illumination rounds for lighting up dark areas, and even less lethal rounds for crowd control or non-lethal engagements. This versatility enables forces to tailor their loadout to the specific requirements of their mission. The M32 also includes several user-friendly features. It has a four-rail Picatinny rail system around the barrel for attachments, a collapsible modular buttstock for comfortable handling, and a reflex sight for enhanced targeting. The reflex sight is particularly useful as it compensates for the natural drift of the grenades, increasing the weapon's accuracy. 
Additionally, the M32 is equipped with a fire selector safety switch located above the rear pistol grip, which can be operated from either side, ensuring safe handling. The M32's adaptability is further showcased in its variants, like the Mark 14, used by US Special Forces, or SOCOM, which features an 8-inch barrel for compactness and reinforced components for medium-velocity grenade projectiles.